Welcome to the StockMinute.com. I'm Brian Johnson. And we saw a slow day today. Hope you guys did something else today. We've seen a lot of these on Fridays. It seems like every Friday I'm doing a video saying, I hope you walk the dog or I hope you cut the grass. Yeah, Fridays have been really, really slow um, on many different occasions now over the past, I'd say, few months. We see a lot of very slow Fridays. I think it's going to get worse, too, guys, as we come into the end of the year, coming into Christmas. Did we get anything from today's action that gives us any indication of further action? And the answer is really no. I mean, we're still watching the same levels. Still watching for breaks below 11.4 and, a, and breaks above 11.5. Not really any direction other than that. Very, very slow day. Holding this support, though, is still neutral to bullish. Holding up high here is still neutral to bullish. So... Coming into next week, we'll watch this continued move. <clears throat> what do we see overall? Well, for the week and on the daily, you can see that we are we broke above this overhead resistance at 11,450, and really didn't go any further than that. Uh, it was a very, very slow week in the markets. Where if we go back, oh, one, two, three, four, five days, we started right around 11,4 and made it to 11,491, a whopping 100 points or so in a week. Wow. So from a Dow standpoint, those you guys know that's nothing. It's nothing. As the markets tend to consolidate up here and just slowly drift their way upwards. Look, does this look familiar? This little kind of grind to the upside. How about this? Uh, yeah. Do you see it kind of? Yeah. All right. So point being, we are still above the 11,450 mark, still holding very well up here above our support areas. No breaks up, no breaks down. And uh, so once again, we're in a consolidation mode. You guys can try to trade. Intraday is the only way to make money. You're not going to be doing any swing trading where you're going to be able to hold for two, three days at a time and make any kind of cash whatsoever. If you've held over the past two weeks, you've really made what? Maybe 200 points in the Dow? Yeah, just nothing. So if you've been in for a while, you're still fine. You're still catching this this grind to the upside, but overall, there really hasn't been a whole lot to do. The week was uh, was was kind of that way overall. I mean, just not much to talk about. By the end of the day, now look, we had this little dip at the very end of the day. People maybe taking some profits, trying to position themselves coming into next week. But this this is nothing. This doesn't tell us anything. It held on to this support level right back here. It's still working its way up. There's nothing broken here quite yet from the market standpoint. And overall, you can see for the week, the NASDAQ, as always, still holding up strong, just like the Dow and just like the SPX, keeping above these overhead levels. These will be, for sure, the levels to be watching heading into the next couple weeks, three weeks, maybe even it might even take till next year for this thing to finally start to break down here. Uh, as the volume, I think, is going to start to kind of drift out of the markets now. These last two weeks of trading are usually a bunch of who really cares type uh, type trading days. We might get a few. We're going to get, we will get a few days that'll be worth trading, but only from an intraday standpoint. Um, uh, so unless we break these levels here, there really won't be much to talk about from the bear side. And you guys know I'm kind of overly cautious to the upside at this point. So here we are. We're above this level. We've been holding above this level. As long as we stay up there, it is still what? bullish. That's right. Neutral to bullish. Look at you guys learn stuff. For the week, we ended up with a little tiny doji, but ultimately it's still holding above this area. So you can see the grind up is getting slow. It's getting tired, but it's still up. So can we hold this until the end of the year? Anybody's guess. As you see the volume drift out, don't get too caught off guard by this. Simply from the standpoint of we're coming into Christmas who, what large fund is going to make a huge move before the end of the year? I don't know. I, I, I don't know if they will. If they, I, mean, I would assume that they've already done that, or they're going to wait till maybe the last week of the year to make that move. I think people are gearing up for Christmas at this point. So here we are on the weekly, still up, ever so slightly, but still up, keeping above that 2200 mark. SPX 60 minutes, same type of thing. Saw that little grind moving sideways here, waiting for breaks above that 1246, 1245, 1246 area, and then breaks back below this 1230, call it 1232, 1233, whatever it is back in this area here. These are your levels to be watching as we come into the rest of the year. Now, we held up here, didn't really go anywhere overall. Everything was pretty much flat by the time the day was done, except for the 
NASDAQ, which is not a big surprise. Tech stocks usually do very well over Christmas. I've been talking about that since November. And they are certainly continuing to keep their strength. But so is the SPX. It's doing very well up here. Still no major, major moves yet within the market. Holding up here, look at these little teeny tiny candles. <laughs> it's just same. Th look at this. Have we not seen this before? I know, this is where trading gets very, very tedious. But it is what it is. You can't move the markets, I can't move the markets. We wait for them to move, and then we make our move uh, when the big money rolls in. So still waiting for breaks up and over this area, still waiting for breaks down below this area. I'm still not sold on any kind of longs here. Let me reiterate, for anybody that's just joining me today, I'm not sold on any moves to the upside. If you guys want to go ahead and get long, have at it. It's your money, whatever. But from my standpoint and for my trading, yeah, no. I'm not worried about the upside. I'm actually, with my subscribers, preparing for the downside. The SPX Weekly, same type of thing, held on. We held above here. Now we're above this overhead area for a couple of weeks. This is going to be the more major area to hold, as it is, and as what we've seen on all the other markets. Waiting for these more major levels to break down before we start looking for any kind of trades within the market themselves. Don't know if we'll get that before Christmas time. But <clears throat> I would expect to see a little bit of a, maybe a couple of good days of trading next week. Not sure we'll see a whole lot of volatility. I wouldn't expect it coming into Christmas. I would expect to see the week start to slowly taper off. Now, this is interesting. VIX, way down. Yeah. So, the markets didn't go anywhere today. And the VIX absolutely fell off the planet. Down 7%? Hmm... What does that tell you? Well, it tells us that there's no fear in the markets. Guys, it's just there's nothing there. Uh, markets are not nervous about anything. And why should they be? We're coming into Christmas, all right? So Santa Claus is coming, yay. Everybody's going to get their choo-choos. Now, notice we did hit this bottom green line. So the support line did hold, and it is still doing a good job of staying well rounder within this little pattern that I've drawn for as well as patterns go on the VIX. I'm not big about charting the VIX, but it is what it is. And it and it looks very nicely, or it looks very nice on a weekly. As you can see, it kind of tagged the bottom blue line down here and hold within it. So the weekly has been pretty accurate here of holding and containing price. But if we bleed out the rest of the week, watch for this thing to drop. Now, for you options traders, you got to love it. This is going to offer an opportunity for some very, very good and interesting moves uh, within the VIX for options traders. So this should make for a pretty good, um, pretty good opportunity for options traders as we continue to fall in the VIX. Apple 60 minute. <laughs> is, is there even a pulse? Really? I mean, this thing's going nowhere. There was no trading to be done today. I watched it for a while, but it was no use. So you can see we've had some moves here along the week, but for the week, really nothing. We had one, maybe one day of decent moves, and then some good intraday trading, maybe up and down, but overall there really wasn't much to speak of in Apple this week. Daily's going to make it look the same way. It's holding above these levels, as is the NASDAQ and all the rest of the markets, holding nicely to these overhead levels. Will it break down? Will it break up? It's anybody's call. We're just going to wait for our breaks before we do it. This could be putting in some sort of a consolidation. Well, it is definitely a consolidation of some sort, but it could be like a four wave consolidation for you Elliott people hard to discern anything within here uh, until we get breaks one way or the other it also stayed above 320 look how it finished the week above that 320 mark which we've been talking about forever so for the week going nowhere I mean I can scrunch this down and I might as well because look at the size of these candles with the exception of this move from 297 back up here to about the 310 mark we've been ten dollars in Apple over about four weeks yeah, huh. what do you do with that? You intraday trade it. For you swing traders, this is a good sign for you. This is telling you that, hey, you know what? Maybe we're getting a little tired up here. Well, yeah, that's what we were seeing here. See how we consolidated for months at a time. We finally got this break. This has been going on for months at a time. And now maybe one last gasp into Christmas? I don't know. I don't know where Apple's going to go. But if you're long Apple, I would just be, I'd be very tight with it. I mean, I if it broke back down below 300, I'd be seriously looking at maybe taking some profits if you got in somewhere back here or something to that effect. Let that let the pullback happen and then come back into it. FAS, same thing, bouncing around these levels, never broke below here and never got back above here. So no trading to be done on the financials today. Uh, just moving sideways, you can see. 
up a little bit, down a little bit, never tested this area here, never got below it, never got above it, nothing to be done. I mean, there was no trading really to be done today, guys. Uh, not on the stuff that we follow anyway. There were some other trades to be done on some uh, on some other stocks, but regardless, uh, what, we've, what we cover here, Apple financials and the indices, nothing. There really wasn't anything to be done. Okay, so big volume here on this last candle of the day. Don't make too much of that because there's just a lot of people getting in, getting out, jockeying for position coming into Monday with their, uh, a lot of people don't want to hold over the weekend. If you're a day trader, you don't like to necessarily hold over the weekend. You just wait until Monday comes around and then re-enter. Same thing on the FAZ daily. We didn't break this level. Now it is putting in a consolidation, which means we could be looking at what? A high base. That's right, a high base. Still looking for pushes above the 1050 mark. Look what we saw today. Another high of 1050. Oh, you don't suppose that's good overhead resistance? Yeah, okay. So do I. So any push back above 1050, I think I'd be looking at 11 to 1125-ish, or the 20. $11 to 11, whatever this is at, 11.15, I guess, come Monday. Overall for the week, we saw a little bit of a bounce down here. We saw a little bit of a drop in the financials. But overall, guys, the financials have just been... Very strong, very strong. I should go back to FAS to show you that. Financials are still doing really pretty well up here. This is the move in the financials from way back here. This was a huge move since November. Pulling back to here is nothing. This is just a very, very shallow retrace at this point. So still watching for breaks below here <clears throat> for more weakness in the banks. But as it is right now, it's holding up and doing very well right now. I'll be back with you again on Sunday. We'll go over the charts and see what we can glean from the information we got this week, put it into next week, and uh, get ready for a whole new week of trading, which I think might be pretty light volume. All right, see you then. Bye.